Hello people of the interwebs, Sarah here, long time no speak. I can't actually see you so I'm thinking speak is probably the correct terminology. So today I would like to do yet another what talk. For any of you who don't know what that is, that is where I read a Wattpad book and I then review it on my channel. A bit like book talk but what talk. See, I'm clever. So today I'm not reviewing just one book, I'm reviewing two but they are part of the same series and I actually did read them back to back because the way the story ends in the first book and starts in the second they actually really flow all together as one, like you could actually read it as one big book if you wanted to. So the two books I'm reading are from the Season series. Uh, the first book is called The Season and the second book is called The Debutant? Debutant? I'm going to say Debutant. Debutant? I can't pronounce it. But they're both by Miss K and um, yeah I'm going to, oh, like always, the links are in the description below so you can go read them. But I'm going to do a brief summary now before I get into spoilers. So this book, much like all the other princess books I have read, kind of reminded me of the selection series. However, however, ever, ever, I do truly believe this book or these series of books is so much better than the selection series. This series focuses more on it is already established that these girls are ladies. Um, they are quite upper class, they have money, they are ladies, they have ladies in waiting, they get etiquette, uh, training, that kind of thing. So we are introduced to Libby in the first chapter and she is actually in an etiqu etiquette school. Um, and she gets offered the position of ladies mate to her f cousin. Um, her cousin, whose name is, Sarah has to double check the name. I want to call her Elise but I'm not sure. She has a double tracking when Wattpad decides to work. <sighs> Ella. Not Elise. Ella. So yes. <coughs> Ella is um, in the season which means she is in the royal court looking for a husband. Ella clearly has her eyes on the prince because if you're going to be courting people you may as well aim for the highest. Um, <coughs> we find one out one of Ella's uh, ladies in waiting has dropped out and Libby who let's just say doesn't have the best track record of being a lady um, is her only option. So Liddy, 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 <laughs> Libby is taken on to High Castle and she has to help her cousin try and win the hand of the prince. Um, clearly you will know there's a lot more to it than that and I'm not going to go into any more because spoilers um, I would I'm not going to summarize the second book either because spoilers but both these books are very gripping and Libby is such a really good main character she all these characters are really well developed and really well understood for their motivation and what their relationship is to Libby and um, I think that's part of the reason why it's so enjoyable to read these books. So I'm going to go and talk about spoilers now so if you haven't read the books it's it's time for you t to go bye bye. The links are in the description and once you've read them please come back. Um, I'll see you very soon. Honestly if you haven't read them go bye bye. Because I will spoil you and I'm not going to be sorry for that so meh. So if you are here then you have clearly read both books so let's get into the nitty gritty. First things first I hate Emily. So so much. Um, Emily is of clearly one of uh, Ella's ladies maids. The other one is, it begins with an R. I think I've been watching way too much Barbie because I want to call her Raquel, but she's not Raquel. 
I'm gonna go and check this because let's see let's see Rosanna that's it I don't know where I got Raquel from Barbie that's what I got Raquel from so Rosanna it's not like I disliked her I just thought she was a bit bland obviously she was doing her job as ladies maid but Emily oh the fact she went out of her way from day one to try and get Libby thrown out the castle I was like <clears throat> gal no Libby is my girl you're not allowed to do this mm -mm, uh -uh, mm -mm. Uh, so when in book two she's like no very happy and the fact that Libby is way above her in standing I was just like hallelujah because I was like that with all like Ella, Rosanna and Emily in book two I was like you do not deserve to even look Libby's way after the way you've treated her I'm sorry but no yeah I got really really annoyed with Ella towards the end of the book because it was how do I just how do I put this into words in book one the fact that Ella like she, she locked Libby in her room she were let she pure refused to let her do anything at all bar like sit in her room and like pamper Ella I was like eh, no no wonder she, Libby because we all know Libby is like meh, the best no wonder she went out her way to like find a little library and look after herself and no wonder the prince um prince andrew and princess anna was so drawn to her because she was so she was a breath of fresh air to all the complete simpletons and the sameness that was happening during the season or ella's season i mean clearly being unique would make her stand out and i mean nah. but yeah the first time she got locked in her room and the fact she was like get, kept getting threatened that she would get sent home to the point where she actually had to like beg Prince Andrew to be like please core Ella so I can stay here because I don't want to go home now her home life oh I'm so glad she had one brother who was at least decent and I absolutely loved their relationship throughout both books I was so happy Libby had one decent member of her family because her family in book two, oh my god, I didn't think they would be that bad and I was so shocked when they sold her off. I was like, um, what? Like, no, from day one, well not, from day one of book two, Libby and Andrew were OTP. So the fact that they were like, no, we're going to sell you off to someone else, I was like, hey, no mate. So. I was not ha like her mum and dad had like I was not at all happy with them and they hadn't I, w I didn't care what happened to them because I was like you did this to Libby and the fact that her and her brother refused to talk to them or have any anything to do with them towards the end I was like good they deserve that book one the thing I loved most about book one except from you know the relationship starting between Andrew and Libby that was it started in such a pure way and they were friends first before they kind of were like wait no we kind of have feelings for each other I think Andrew realized way before Libby did and it kind of took her to get to the ball when she was dressed up to realize wait this guy I do actually have feelings for him. Obviously she had ul ulterior motives when it came to going to the ball because she had to still warn the prince but I kind of think she, I like that she was so oblivious she really liked their friendship she thought that's all it was and then boom actually know this guy's stolen my heart and he wants me to be his queen which <sighs> imagine being queen fish what anyway um book two like that was the thing I really loved about book one uh, it was also the thing I loved about book one was it introduced this land and this like the dynamics before getting into the serious drama of book two not that there wasn't drama in book one there was drama the, but um the fact that she wasn't in the season straight away I really I think that's why I enjoyed it so much she was a lady so she kind of got a bit more freedom she was a bit more invisible the fact she like snuck into like the servants quarters and her friendship with her seamstress oh 
that was amazing um, and I love in book one how you could kind of see how Andrew always had a backup plan that was really good it kind of was woven in really good uh, I mean obviously it's in book two that is a lot more important as his his brother his brother is my favorite character in book two I'm just gonna say that so like when Libby and her brother get offered a place in the palace in book two to be actually part of the season so Andrew can marry her. It was such a natural progression that when I read it I was like well duh that's that's obvious well done Andrew you, you found a loophole kind of thing. Book two had a lot more depth and drama within it which is why I think it, it won the Watty last year. Um, the characters all had a part to play within the overlying story, every single one. I mean there was the princess, there was, I want to call her Evangeline, but it's not that. The queen's daughter, like the friend of the queen's daughter, who was like Miss Perfect, who Andrew almost, who thought Andrew was going to propose and then didn't and I was like Meh. No. But the thing I loved it was the introduction to Andrew chapters. Um, clearly all three siblings want Libby to be queen. Um, and you can kind of get that. And they go out their way to make sure she is courted by Thomas because Andrew will, is refusing. Not is refusing but his parents are being a lot more manipulative. His dad, I'm not happy with his dad at all. It kept the king, the fact he signed the treaty, I was like, no. The queen, it, she turned around. I love, towards the end, I was full on well done queen, but she spent ages and ages just being so disapproving of Libby. So like, I wasn't sure if she would do that, but I think she saw, how in love Andrew was with the girl and if you're gonna marry to be queen you may as well marry to be in love as well so you have that support. I think my favourite moment within book two was when Andrew and Libby went round all the um, villages and they ate the pie, she made the little nail. It was just one of those, it was the turning point within the book Andrew was being honest, he wanted to marry Libby, she was front contender for his feelings for the crown <coughs> and it was just such a break within the book because until then she had been so confused because he was still dating and he was having first dances with someone who wasn't Libby and his feelings, he wasn't showing his feelings to his parents, he wanted Libby, he wanted to court her, that was his choice. And she was so confused and I was getting really frustrated because obviously we were getting Andrew chapters so I was getting really frustrated with him. So like when they had this chapter and he was going to be open and honest with her and I just was like oh. It was amazing. I loved it. Anyway, um, before I ramble way too long onto this book I am going to just say I recommend this so much to anyone. Um, there's a third book that's being written I'm not going to read or review it till it's finished because I like if I'm going to review a book I'd rather review a completed book because then I get the whole story so I'm going to read that when it comes when it's finished and I will do a review on it it's that third book is focusing on Prince Thomas um because he has to go somewhere else because of the treaty and you'll find out if you read book two um, but I, as I said I highly recommend both these stories and the links will be in the description so if you do go and read them please tell Miss Kate that I did a review and I sent you and I will see you when I see you because I do not have a schedule for this channel which I probably should but I don't anyway see you later bye So I know what I'm talking about. Ow. Ow.
But anyway, today is one of those days where like I have so much work I have to get done. But also I don't have a lot of work I need to get done. It's a lot of like I have to ask lecturers, am I interpreting interpreting this correctly before I can actually get the work done? So I'm like, I'll be productive, I'll, I'll watch a video. Watch film. These are like my go-to snack by the way. I am so not sponsored by Jacobs but Twiglets. I don't know why, but I love them so much. They're so weird. I don't know what they're made of. Like, I do know what they're made of, but I don't. There's something about them I'm like. It's oh, keeping me going. This and coffee. I think this is going to be what's a, how I survive fourth year of uni. Just saying.